Have you ever wondered how iron and steel are made? It's a fascinating process that begins with the most basic element of the Earth, iron ore. Picture this, deep within the Earth's crust, iron ore is mined. This ore contains iron oxides like hematite and magnetite. Depending on its intended use, the ore might undergo a series of treatments to increase its purity and consistency. These processes could include crushing, screening, washing, and even magnetic separation. Sometimes, with lower-grade ores, there's a need for agglomeration processes such as sintering and pelletizing. Sintering involves heating the iron ore fines with fluxes like limestone and coke breeze to form a porous material called sinter. In pelletizing, small balls or pellets are formed from the iron ore fines and are then hardened in a furnace. Meanwhile, a crucial reducing agent for the iron-making process is being prepared, coke. Derived from coal, coke is produced by heating coal in the absence of air to remove volatile components. The heart of the iron production is the blast furnace. Here, iron ore, coke, and limestone are charged from the top, while hot air is blown in from the bottom. The coke reacts with the oxygen in the air to produce carbon monoxide, reducing the iron ore to metallic iron. The limestone helps remove impurities, forming a slag that floats atop the molten iron. Next, the molten iron from the blast furnace is further refined in either a basic oxygen furnace or an electric arc furnace. In the former, oxygen is blown into the molten iron to remove impurities. In the latter, scrap steel is melted using an electric arc and then refined. These processes give us steel of varying grades and compositions suitable for myriad applications. After refining, the molten steel is cast into semi-finished forms using continuous casting machines. Imagine pouring the molten steel into a water-cooled mold which solidifies it into a continuous slab, bloom, or billet. The semi-finished steel products then undergo further processing to become the finished products we use in our daily lives. This involves shaping, rolling, forging, or extrusion, depending on the desired final product. And voila! The steel is ready. Throughout this entire process, measures are taken to optimize energy efficiency, reduce environmental impact, and ensure product quality. These include recycling of scrap steel, capturing and treating emissions, and implementing advanced technologies for process control and automation. The journey from iron ore to steel involves many steps and technologies. It's a testament to human ingenuity, transforming a raw material from the earth into something that forms the backbone of modern civilization. The next time you see a steel structure, remember the incredible journey it has undergone.